hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to draft and cut this dress so keep on watching so to begin this project we are going to start by cutting out the down part of the dress which is the tiered flared here is a mini illustration i'm doing here on cardboard on how to fold your fabric you want to fold your length into two and then fold again to create a triangle like shape just as you see me doing here on cover paper To get the measurement for your waist radius, you want to divide your full waist measurement by 3.14. Your results from your calculation, you are going to mark that around the waist area beginning from the top point of the angle. So since the flare for this dress is tiered, I am going to be subtracting the length of the second tear. I'll be using about 8 inches for that, so I'm going to subtract that from the length of the skirt. Then what I have left is what I'm going to be marking here, plus 1 inch for sewing allowance. So now to get the measurement of the second tear, I'm going to measure around the bottom part of the flag and then whatever we have there, we're going to multiply that by 1.5. Feel free to multiply with whatever figure you like. You can make it wider, you can multiply with three, but I multiplied with one and a half because I was only using one yard of fabric here so I multiplied that and I took my length which is 8 to complete the length of the skirt then plus 1 inch for 14 allowance on both sides so I actually had to cut about 3 pieces that I can join together to achieve the length that I got so yeah moving on next we're going to be cutting the sleeve so to achieve the width for this puff sleeve you want to multiply your normal sleeve width by two or three depending on your preference your length still remains the same but you're going to add a sewing allowance for the shoulder and then for the down parts to create tunnels for elastic so now you're going to create a slope line which you're going to sew onto your shoulder parts of your dress i usually freehand this so i don't really have any measurement to give for this next up we're going to be cutting the front part of the dress the make made bust tear note we are going to be cutting this front piece on fold so the length of this fabric here is the measurement from top of the bust to the waist measurement plus two inches for sewing allowance so first off you want to mark the measurement from the top of the bust to under the bust plus one inch for sewing allowance then the other remaining part will be for the waistband So 
so now you're just going to go on ahead and connect the underbust line from the allowance straight across the fabric now you're going to go ahead and mark out the neckline so here you can see me using five as the neck width which ended up being too wide so i reduced it so if you want to mark out this neckline to avoid mistakes use four or just measure out the neckline on the person's body you are making it for to avoid errors so after the neckline you want to mark out the armhole area for that you come down by three inches and on that three inch marking point you want to mark your bust measurement divided by four then at the waist you want to mark your waist measurement divided by four and connect all points together making sure to include seam allowance So now I want to go ahead and cut the make made part of the bustier. So you can either do the slash and spread method for this or just take double twice the wideness of what we already have. Use what we already have as templates and you want to take twice the wideness and just cut that out. So this one we use as the template will now serve as the lining and then this bigger one is what we are going to reach down to create the make made effect. That's it for the front piece. Now to cut the back pattern of this dress, we are going to measure from around 1 to 2 inches above our arm or to our waist line or you can just use your front length measurement minus one inch now you want to go on ahead and mark out your one inch for zipper allowance and then you go ahead and mark out your four inch neckline plus half inch for sewing allowance then for the armhole depth you want to come down by two inches and on that point you want to mark your bust measurement divided by four plus two inches one inch for your dad sewing allowance and one inch for your seam allowance and then come down to the waist part and mark your waist measurement divided by four plus two inches one inch for that and one inch for side seam sewing allowance Now from the center back you want to mark your dart measurement for the lower part at the waistline and for the top part at the neckline and notch it out. So to get the dart width you just want to measure the, uh, the distance between the person's nipple point to nipple point and divide that by 2. Just in case you did not notice this back pattern I've been cutting is actually on four. There is two pieces we cut two pieces one for each side of the back so now we're just going to trace out what we have and cut that onto a facing we're just going to cut a facing for this 
So finally these are all our patterns we have our flare plus the extension then we have our sleeve we have our bustier piece the make made bustier piece we have our waistband and we have two back pieces and two facings in our next video i will show you guys the stitching how to sew all these pieces together to create the dress Thanks for watching. Bye.